using the hand to stand up is, is what you call a Gower test. So this is a typically, you can see here, this child is trying to stand. So he's using his hand uh, and then gradually he'll push his hand right from your, uh, so when he's uh, starting with, he will be like crawling. So this is a crawling position. Then he will push himself up and then gradually use this hand uh, uh, from his ankle to knee joint and then stand. So this is a gradual stand like this. And this sign is classically called a Gower sign. So this is typically seen in any proximal muscle wasting, but in children, if it is seen, it's classically of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. In adult, if you see this, uh, uh, then you have to be very suspicious of osteomalacia because the osteomalacia vitamin D deficiency also cause muscular uh, proximal muscle wasting. And then uh, obviously, you are uh, looking for, uh, if you have fixed flexion contracture, then you're looking for a Thomas test. And if it is fixed abduction contracture, so you're looking for your Ober sign. So these tests can be asked depending on what finding the uh, patient has there. And then you have to assess your tendo eclipse if it is fixed uh, contracture or equinus contracture with your silver skewer test. So all these uh, special tests depending on the patients, what they are, they can be asked. So Gower, Trendenberg, Thomas, and, and Ober, and Silversky old test can be asked, but the Gower is one which you can't miss. So this is what you will see um, uh, in a uh, child. And then uh, I forgot to mention that classically, when you're doing an inspection uh, from the side of the back, you will also see that the muscles are, especially of the calf muscles, which are visible, uh, sometime, depending on, again, on what stage of the disease are hypertrophy. So uh, calf is uh, hypertrophic, uh, lumbar dardosis, uh, and uh, uh, these classical signs you will see. So these are the mainly for the lower limb. As the disease progresses to upper limbs, uh, upper limb again, it starts with, with the proximal muscle of the shoulder joint. So when you get proximal shoulder become almost uh, difficult uh, and uh, the uh, tone is very uh, deficient all around the proximal muscle. So there's one sign or one test you need to re remember it is called Marion sign. And this is sign mean that when you're trying to lift the child, the child almost slips. So there is no tone in the muscle. The child almost fall down. So the, these are classically two tests uh, described in the Gower for lower limb and, and Marion for the upper limb. 